Okay, so why did I go with these uh, ALN inline fuses and the, these particular ones? Uh, first of all, they were a recommendation, and the recommendation from Al was good. I liked it. Uh, I could have gone with, instead of fuses, I could have gone with um, circuit breakers. But when I spoke to Al about that, and he spent the extra money on the circuit breakers and regretted it because uh, he feels that what, he's not getting a good return on the circuit breaker. My idea was, hey, if you get a circuit breaker and something blows, you just reset the circuit breaker. Here, you have to uh, get a new fuse. However, these fuses are pretty inexpensive. I got a, th a three pack, and um, I only needed two of them, so I've got an S pair one. Um, and then uh, here on the 130 amp, I bought two of these. Um, I only need one, but I have a backup. So I'm still money ahead, and so I should be fine. So uh, these are good quality fuses. These are apparently used in the music industry when they're hooking up big amplifiers and so forth that need, really take a lot of power and uh, need to be protected. Uh, so you definitely don't want to uh, not buy a a two dollar fuse and blow up your hundred and fifty dollar controller or, or two hundred dollar inverter uh, and uh, these fuses are pretty expensive this one I forget how much it was maybe thirty dollars or so but I'll put links to to these fuses and the fuse holders down at the in the bottom in the discussion uh, area so you can get more information on them so th these are uh, stinger fuses here and this is actually the fuse holder right here uh, it's an inline fuse holder. Uh, it's very you'll need it, uh, an Allen wrench uh, to make it work, but uh, uh, it's very easy to use. And it, as you see, I don't know if you can see it. It says it's used for high power MIDI uh, fuse protection, high temperature housing, water resistant design, four to eight gauge input output. So that's perfectly what we're for what we're using. Uh, it's very very well constructed. I was very happy with the shipper. Uh, these are the fuses that actually go inside of it. Uh, very easy to put in. The, the top will pop. The top pops off here. You slide the fuse in. Uh, tighten down the uh, the bolts or the little nuts in here, or whatever they are. Uh, screws with the Allen wrench, and you're good to go. The same thing here with the 130 uh, amp fuse. Again, this is. Uh, I will take you know one to zero gauge input output. We're putting in. Um, four gauge, which work perfectly fine. Um, so everything here will work great with the wire that we we chose. We chose a ten gauge wire uh, over here, and this is what goes inside the fuse. And then we've got the four gauge wire going inside the 130 amp fuse. So everything works good as far as uh, connections fitting inside. Let's see if I can move this so you can see, but that. It just screws right down on side there. It works very easy to set up, and it'll protect my uh, all my expensive hardware from getting ruined. So don't go cheap on the uh, fuses. Make sure you get some good ones, whether they're these or something else. Uh, inline fuses work great. I was able to get this off of Amazon at a really good price. Excellent delivery, and I'm very very happy with the the way it was easy to set up and the the protection I feel I'm getting for my uh, electronics. Hope this information helps on deciding on, on what fuses to use and to make sure that you are using fuses in your system so you don't ruin your expensive equipment. This is LDS Prepper out.